when the entrance to Hall 5. It's minutes to go until the show opens. Julia Bradbury is due to cut the ribbon. She's currently being interviewed by The Sun. Hopefully they'll hurry up and then we can get her to open the show any second now. Now, there are over 550 AWS approved workshop schemes in the UK, and I'm here with the winner of the best one in Britain. This is Oakley, my good friend from Bristol Caravans, who you have featured in the podcast this week. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much indeed. So tell me, come on in, come on in. And what does it actually mean for you as a business then to win oh, Best Workshop? That's a good question. You know, what does that mean? I think, um, you know, I said the team work really hard and, and it's the recognition of that, really. It's the, it's the industry. We work in a great industry. The customers are lovely. The customers that buy from this industry are really nice people. Um, and for us to, to be recognized out of all of those workshops that are out there is, is an amazing thing. So I'm here with a, with a new superstar to the show. Can I say that? <laughs> Your words. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm here with the brilliant Harrison Ward. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the show, really. Chatting to folk like yourself. <laughs> You've got quite a story, haven't you? But kind of be prior to this drove you to kind of have a bit of a life change. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've been suffering really with, with what I now know to be the clinical depression from early adolescence, really. Something that I kept very, very quiet, very much to myself, didn't share it out there. But later in life, at 18, started working behind the bar, and this is where I really discovered alcohol. What would you say the outdoors has done then to change your life? It's just somewhere I just feel as if I can be myself, just just very free. You know, I found another nice community of people that also enjoy the outdoors and get out there for similar reasons. And I mentioned sharing that story initially um, back on my personal Facebook, but as time went on, I started sharing these adventures online, initially anonymously. Again, maybe another mask I was wearing under that pseudonym. But there were similar stories coming back from people as well about why they find the outdoors, whether it be sort of, you know, camping trips or local walks around the park or up into the mountains of having that sort of mental and physical benefit, that endorphin hit mm. of spending time in the outdoors. And really, it's just, it's where we're meant to be. Now, this is, this is exciting. This is an all-electric, zero-emission camper van. That's exactly what it is, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep, yep, and we're excited too. And is it the only one in the hall? It's the only non-diesel camper van here. That's remarkable. Is it the world's first all-electric camper van? No, it's not the world's first, but it's the world's first multi-purpose electric camper right. van with fully electric interior, including heating as well. So, And it's got an electric bed, isn't it? It's heated, got a heated, heated bed. bed. Yeah, <laughs> for those cold nights, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs an electric blanket? I can say to her, you lie down, I'll plug it in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so when can we have a test drive in it? Um, very soon. Come up to Scotland, come and see us. Come and visit us at a factory. We'll show you them getting made. Uh, I'll introduce you to our design team and take it away for as long as you like. We are definitely sure going to do love it. it. <laughs> yeah, I, look, well, we want to test it in the real world. Aye. Brilliant. Gary, thank you very thank much you. for showing us this and well done on bringing it to the show. Right. I'm sure once you put it forward for awards, it's going to scoop plenty. It deserves to. It's absolutely cutting edge. I love thank it. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're on the Arvinger stand and I'm here with Sven. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Sven. Hi. <laughs> A very warm welcome to you. Thank this you is the much. first time you've brought this special toilet to the UK, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a cassette separation toilet. So we are separating only, which means we are separating on top in the bowl and we are separating in the cassette. And this means we have two areas. This is similar to the compost toilet, but uh, what you're doing afterwards with, the, um, with your belongings, with the uh, feces, uh, as we call it, this is the difference. Afterwards, it dries out the uh, poo and it's not smelling anymore. So by adapting a Thetford loo to have this fitted, you don't need chemical and you don't get smells at all. Is that, that's, that's right, yeah? Yeah, correct. You don't need water either, So because you're not flushing. You're not using your water for flushing it down, to, down the to toilet. You're using the uh, water for whatever it's supposed to be. What's the number one and one or two? I don't know that <laughs> word, sorry. So a wee in, in the UK, number yeah. one is a wee, ah, okay. and number two is the other. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah. politer British way yeah, yeah, of I explaining it. <laughs> Got it. I will, I will uh, remember that. Point. Well, I'm here at the February 
2023 Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show with the lovely Siobhan Daniels. Siobhan, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm very well, thank you. What a fabulous show this is. It's very busy today. It's Saturday, isn't it? And hectic. <laughs> yeah, I was talking on the advisory stage this morning about female solo travellers. Um, and it's great to seeing everybody rushing in and wanting to buy motorhomes and tents yeah. and things. It's very exciting, isn't it? Now, tell us about your new project, your Retirement Rebel book. Yeah, well, I retired when I was 60, three and a half years ago from the BBC, got rid of my home, got rid of all my possessions and bought myself a motorhome, Dora the Explorer, <laughs> like you do when you retire. And I hit the road and I've basically been finding my way on this roller coaster ride and writing about it and my life. And it's come out as a book, Retirement Rebel, and it's doing really well. Fantastic. Now, you're waving a big flag, aren't you, for the over 60s that can do this, men and women? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely men and women. But I'm telling my story because it's resonating with a lot of women who find themselves overwhelmed by life when they're in the late 50s, early 60s. And nobody's really been talking to us, for us or about us. So I wanted to show you could live with very little and have a great life and find happiness. And I was broken in my mid-50s. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my... Um, coming up to 64 now and I want to show women they can do that I've done it with a motorhome not yeah. everybody has to do that um, but I'm shouting from the rooftop that you when you retire you refire yeah <laughs> <laughs> you've practiced this haven't you uh -huh. and what do you think a motorhome's had a big part to play in that do you think yeah because I think you get bogged down going out and earning a lot of money to buy a lot of stuff to pay lots of bills and you can't live mm. and I was doing that and living in a gorgeous flat with a good job and lots of money but I wasn't happy so my motorhome has showed me I can live with far less possessions yep. but be truly living my true happiness and I found my inner voice I found my inner warrior and I want to be able to champion for other women to be able to do that and inspire them and that's what my book Retirement Rebel is definitely doing because I'm getting messages from women all the time and many of them are buying vans I, I'm sure and I bet you are too I've bought a copy thank you for signing it I really appreciate that where can people get their copy they can order it um, from Amazon or they can get it from my publishers vertebrate publishing or they can go to my website Siobhan because Siobhan in Yorkshire when you want to get rid of it you go shove off and I'm originally from Yorkshire so that is s-h-u-v-o-n s-h-u-v O double F Siobhan Siobhan .co .uk, and there's a link to my book. <laughs> Play that back if you didn't catch that. We'll put a link in the note to this. Anyway, Siobhan, it's great to see you again and Thank have a you. great rest of the show and good luck rustling with these 26,000 wonderful people that are here today. Thank you and thanks for what you're doing for everybody in motorhomes. It's really important getting the message out there what fun it is. No, it's great fun. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye. So I'm here with the host of the Inspiration Theatre at the February NEC show 2023, Sarah Roberts. Sarah, hello. Hi, lovely to meet you. It's great to see you. So not all of us here would know who you are, but you are prolific in the world of conservation and wildlife. Tell us a bit about your background. It's fascinating. I would say the vast majority of people wouldn't have a clue who I am here. I'm, for one part, a children's author. This is one hat that I have. Um, so I've got a series of three books, three picture books, which are used in schools in the UK and in lots of countries abroad. The first one, um, Somebody Swallowed Stanley, has appeared on CBBS by somebody much better looking than me reading it out, Tom Hardy. Um, and the third This is one, Tom Hardy, the actor. The one from Batman. Yeah, <laughs> what a thing. claim. I know, I know. Yeah, um, I, I did joke about like recording the audio of that and then using it as a voicemail, but I did and I don't. <laughs> he did say my name on television. I did appreciate it, but yeah. You mentioned the grey area and yes. you're attracted to grey areas. We have a huge topic in our podcast audience around wild camping, mm. which we refer to as parking up in a camper van in an area of outstanding natural beauty perhaps or a beautiful spot tell us a little bit about your thoughts on this big topic that we call incorrectly i know <laughs> wild camping yeah it's a bit like wild swimming isn't it is it really wild are you being chased by a crocodile or is it just swimming um but no um yeah i have a, a few secret spots that i treasure very very dearly and you know to get away to those places and to wake up in a field or on the edge of a cliff and you know get the surfboard out and go straight for a surf or get the boots on and go straight for a dog walk and a hike it is you know something that's so 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 integral to my happiness about yeah. being in this country especially as somebody that's traveled all over the shop you know in covid 
this kind of thing and, and the year after when we couldn't travel, this was the thing that really saved me. As somebody with a background in conservation and somebody who has literally seen human impacts all over the planet, and in this country, um, I can also understand why places such as Dartmoor and other places would want to limit the amount of people that come and stay there overnight. I'm here at the NEC in February 2023 on possibly what is the brightest stand at the show. It's the Fiamma stand and I'm here with a very important chap. This is the managing director of Fiamma globally. Charles, how are you? Very well, very well. It's really I'm, good to see I'm you. I'm actually co-managing director with my cousin as well. I, I just okay. want to say that. It's important for us to say it. <laughs> You're not going to take all the glory. Yeah, I can. Now, I Fiamma yeah. is a yeah. big household name in oh, the thank UK. You. Thank you. Uh, and it's everywhere, isn't it? Everyone sees the bike racks, the awnings. How long has Fiamma been going? So uh, Fiamma was founded in 1945 uh, by my grandfather, Arnaldo Pozzi. And uh, as, when he passed uh, in the 60s, my grandmother took over. It's in your blood then. If we cut you in half, it says Fiamma. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I will bleed red. That's why it's uh, you know, the red color. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're here at the show. And how has yes. it been for you? Oh, very good. Very good. I mean, we, we love the show. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a very enthusiastic show. There's also a lot of new innovation, I think especially in the, in, the motor, in the small vans, converters. Yep. There's a lot of very exciting stuff happening. Yep. Now, I love an innovation and a new product launch at any show, and this show is no exception. So you're here from Norway, where this product yes. was made. Yes. Now, I'm going to take the lid off, and there you go. You can't eat them. No. <laughs> These are, tell us what they are, Banks. They are moist sensors. Okay. They, they, uh, they are installed in a motorhome or a caravan and they will continuously measure for moist and the temperature inside the construction. So this is a water ingress detection system that is on all, all day, every day. Yep. Instead of just checking your moisture and your leakages once a year, they will do it every day. The uh -huh. interesting part is that when the dealer gets uh, a motorhome with this installed, uh, traded in, he can check and really verify that this, this motorhome is really dry. Bank, I think it's brilliant. I think, as Good. I say, it's a game changer. Yeah. Good we'll luck with it. it. Thank you. It's very welcome here in the UK where we get a lot of rain. I know. I'm from the west coast of Norway, so that's the other side of it. So uh, we love it. Yeah. As an industry, we've seen a huge growth in the number of YouTube channels, vlogs, and useful content that's appearing online. Some of it is really, really useful. Less so from these guys. <laughs> Good reason. We're here with the Roman Radford. Welcome back from the USA. How are you both? Thank you. Really good, thank you. Nice really to good. see you. Thank you, Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. <laughs> Is it too late to say Are that? Are we still saying that? I am, yeah. It's February, it's February, we're at the NEC show. Absolutely. You've had a busy one, haven't you? What have you been up to? Well, we spent December in, the, in Florida and we're just getting ready and starting our plans for the rest of the year now. Same shirts as well. Right. You've got the trademark. Trade <laughs> You're making my eyes go, was it? <laughs> yes, it's terrible on screen. We're feeling a big part of the community the last couple of years, and we've been around networking with everyone in the industry, and we've made very, very welcome. It's a good community to be part of. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the difference. You network, I make friendships as well. Ooh, <laughs> as well. Yeah. You yeah. do make them as friendships, but... <laughs> He's just interested in the fame, though. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. Well, can I say, on behalf of our industry, if I dare, it is great to have you. We Thank really you. appreciate you both. Thank you. And, Thank you. and you raise the profile of a lifestyle that many of us love. And I think you're incredibly brave. I take my hat off to you. So if we can inspire people to come into the industry, then that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time Not to talk to me. Oh, I pleasure. really appreciate Anytime, it. Anytime, mate, you know. And uh, we'll talk stickers and embroidery later. Let's do that. And keep uh, with the podcast is fantastic, guys. Thank keep you. going with it. Really appreciate Hello. it. Hello. This is Matt from Back to Home. Matt, how you doing, buddy? And then off you go. So let's see Not if Matt's good. technique's any good. <laughs> absolutely. How good is that? Two and a half? Two and a half. I'm joking. Easy, easy 10. So that's it. The Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show 2023 is done. 
if you visited the show and came and said hello thank you so much for doing so and for your encouragement and support we really do appreciate it many visitors reporting a fantastic show with some here for the very first time still and some here many here in fact now owning a motorhome or caravan and looking for accessories for dealers i think it's been a bit of a mixed bag some reporting the show as challenging largely due to raised screen prices and still struggle of supply some however reporting record sales camper van co with a brand new all-electric camper van selling eight orders at the show and that was this morning maybe they've sold more since then eco wagon a hundred and thirty one thousand pound vw conversion sold here at the show with orders for more so it's been a really mixed experience but what was your experience of the show did you come what was your view we would love to know tell us at motorhomemat.co.uk forward slash ask matt for me there have been several highlights the avara damp monitoring kit i think was ingenious price possibly a little bit high still we'll see what happens to that as we go into this year the camper van co all electric camper van was brilliant uh, the price surprised me you'll have to watch that full episode to discover that for yourself and a final highlight for me was in the toilets yes i was stood at the urinal and a chap looking down said wow my wife's going to be really impressed i said why what have you done he said i've just had a wee next to motorhome matt <laughs> so that's it we return to the nec in october you can buy tickets for that at mcshow.co.uk and make sure you use the code matt to save a few pounds on your ticket price get there early and we'll see you then if not before